about to bring the Frenchies in. Just want y'all to see them while they outside and all that. That's AJ. Fluffy Carrier, Carrie and Coco, Carrie and Blue. She always chilling. She laid back. When we got her, she was 13 pounds. I think she moved to like 14, five. Real tiny. You know what I'm saying? Carrying her. Carrying the right shit for show. Then we got her sister, her litter mate. She bought one pound bigger than her. They both tiny, compact, top, and uh, width and height. Of course, we got Legacy over there chilling. Everybody running around, so they cool. That's the Blue Merle. She got a little bit more height than the rest of them because they're real tiny, but we already know what I'm going to do with her. Her structure is official. Her temperament is official. Athletic ability is crazy. Them two right there, actually. They're the most athletic. Big homie number one is the Blue Merle. Big homie number two, second in charge. It's Coco right there. And then her sister. Sister over there. Yeah, they all out there cool. And then, of course, you got Lakshmi. You know what I'm saying? Nice chest. You know, she that sable. Just thinking I'm going to definitely keep one of her sables and then keep a Merle and keep that sable going. That Merle coming from them. And then, of course, the fluffies from the fluffy carriers. And they got that Coco, that blue. They're going to drop that shit off. Fire. Coming from tiny dogs. And uh, I'm going to work on structure with them, too. Cause legacy are already built like a beast and um i'm gonna just i got some shit going on man the studs that we gonna tie them to is crazy you know what i mean i already got down payments with all of them and i got like six studs you know what i'm saying down payments on them man ready to go and i only got four girls you know what i mean but it's just because you know gotta get them you know what i'm saying why they up there and uh for the low so, you know, I had to jump on two of those. The other ones was already where they at, already proven. You know what I mean? The official, official. I'm going to give up the names when the girls are going heat, which can be any day now. But uh, y'all going to see, because I'm going to show. I'm going to show the uh, studs, man. Beast. Beast, man. This program will be crazy in the next two generations, man. I already know they're already starting off official already. You know what I mean? And when we start... Throwing them crazy stuff in the game, mixed with these girls with that fire DNA. Oh, man. Yeah, it's on. Like I said, come on, man. 15 pounders, though. You know what I mean? Compact. Great DNA. You know what I'm saying? Your legacy, look how she's staying. Her stance is official. Love it. And shit, we taking her to something real tiny and wide, baby. Famous dog. Real famous. Great bloodline. Whew. They're going to do a wonder together. It's going to be ridiculous. Can't wait, man. I'm so excited. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. But yeah, I'm going to bring them in, get them washed up and all that. They be in real soon. Good Coco, her hair growing back on her neck. You guys see that little area on her neck? It's growing back. Tell you a little story about that. So, you know, if you ever experience anything like it, you can address it or you can, you can catch it before, you know, you have to deal with it. Like I had to deal with it. But I'll talk about that in a minute when I get the man. But I definitely want y'all to see What's going on? People be talking about Lakshmi Tail, but yo, you know, uh, a lot of people dock their tails, you know what I'm saying? Because they come out any size. They can come out no, pretty much no tail at all, corkscrews, all different types of tails that they come out with. They don't never really be too long, though. But um, in rare cases, you do have longer tails, but a lot of people dock them joints. So you never get to see them. 
uh, the breeder that bred her didn't dock them. I don't know what the hell she eating. I gotta get out there and get to her. Eating some stupid shit right now, but. Mm-hmm. Big homie right there. She always gotta check things out, make sure everything good, hold her family down. That's what she do. The big homie legacy, you know how she give it up. I gotta go spray and treat that grass again too because I could see little flies and stuff going out there. They was all gone just a few weeks ago. Um, I killed them all because I I used the uh, the spray, sprayed along with it. You know what I mean? Make sure, make sure they're just all gone. You know what I'm saying? Clear the path for them, treat the grass. So I'm supposed to do that every 30 days. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm gonna get on that probably tonight or tomorrow morning. I don't need shit flying around on them or none of that. You know, speaking of treating the grass, you know what I mean? I definitely got the, definitely got the buzzer, you know what I mean? So if anything ever make it in the house, flies, mosquitoes, anything, if it make it in the house, it ain't lasting long. It's definitely zapped and you're out of there in no time. It's like 30 bucks on Amazon. You definitely want those as indoor outdoors. You definitely want to get you a couple, you know what I mean? So you can put in your house or outside your house and, um, you know, kill the mosquitoes and flies or anything of that nature. You know what I mean? But fleas, ticks, and all that stuff, I'm um, treating the grass for. And I definitely give them the monthly pills, you know, so they can be on point. She wet, she wet as hell digging in dirt. I hate when she do that. She got a beautiful coat and I don't really like her outside too much, but I do want them to be out there and play because, you know I mean? That's the best time for them to get out and do their thing. I want them running around socializing, playing, pulling and all that. Got all types of stuff for them to play with out there. So they do that, bones and all that. So they have a good time doing what they do. She knows she on camera. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just wanna give y'all a good look at the girls, man. They all about to go in heat, so it's about to be some fire coming out here. Like I said, them studs gonna be st What? The combination is crazy. What I'm doing with these litters coming up is nuts. And I can't only imagine the direction of the kennel, man, in the next two, three generations, man, because I already got it locked in my head. I'm about to give it up. And I'm like, oh my God, it's going down. It's going down, believe that. Believe that, the structure that I'm about to create, man. Man, two, three generations, you don't think I've been doing this shit for five years, man. Even though I do got a little background in breeding, I never mess with Frenchies. There's a lot that I've learned dealing with Frenchies um, because, it's, you know, they got higher maintenance than what I'm used to with my normal bullies, man. So um, we'll talk about that, too, a little bit later on uh, different things that I experienced in the in the last couple months that I think y'all should be aware of if y'all new to the Frenchies like I am. Yeah, look at her. She already know what time it is. She gonna be the one. What I'm hitting her with, oh my God. It's gonna be over, I promise you. Champion right there. She it. She know it. Quick rundown. So, in the last two months, we ended up grabbing Coco, which is a fluffy carrier, carrying Coco. Then we grabbed her sister like a couple weeks after that. Fluffy carrier, carrying Coco, carrying Blue. Had to snatch a both up, both a year old, ready to go in the next heat. Had to put the ticket down, get that done. Was a must, you know, because I'm trying to get to where I'm going ASAP. Uh, you know what I mean? Division that I got, like I don't really got time to wait. So let's get it going off the rip, right? Um, also wanted to let y'all know, when I grabbed Coco, she ended up getting an ear infection. So uh, I just want to let y'all know a little bit, like, 
first of all, when you bathe in your dogs, you want to make sure no water get in their ear. That can cause ear infections. Um, you also want to uh, clean the ear once or twice a week with a solution. You know, um, you don't want to you know, wait months and all of that. So really pretty much what I do now every Monday, I wanna, it's like a spa day pretty much. I wanna make sure that they nails is good. I wanna make sure uh, they ears is good, they tear ducts is good, you know, and I also condition their coats um, with a perfume conditioner um, so that they smell good in between baths. So that's what I do now every Monday to make sure they on point. And also gives me the opportunity to overlook their skin and you know what I'm saying, spend some time with them and all of that. Um, it's to make sure, you know, everything is good with them. So, uh, just wanted to throw that out there just in case, you know, um, you had that experience or um, to pretty much prevent um, uh, that experience because um, you definitely don't want your dog to be harmed or hurt in any kind of way, you know. So, you just want to throw that out there. Also, I got the logo done. You know, I'm gonna definitely leave something in the description about, um, you know, for contact information for your boy, man. He do his thing. I definitely salute him. You know, um, definitely put in work when it comes to the logos. And he also did an animation for me in the beginning. I'm gonna start using those in the beginning of the video. But it's funny because my wife hollered at him, you know what I'm saying, uh, for me, because, you know, she was doing all the texting and all of that online. And um, I was handling something else. So, you know, he thought it was for her. I think that's why he chose the music he chose. But, man, it still sound good. We're going to roll with it regardless. You know what I'm saying? I might go ahead and uh, and uh, write something and, and do it on a crazy beat, you know. You might see that in the future, you know, do something that y'all can y'all can really rock to, you know, uh, when, when y'all see my videos. Um, but, uh, you know, I just like to create. That's what I do, you know. That's why this right here, we're going to create magic. That's just what I do. You know, I don't care what it is. Music, I don't care if we talk about breathing. You know what I mean? I had my first lab, you know what I'm talking about? When I was like 13, you know what I mean? I was cloning and, 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 and breathing then, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, you know, I've always been on the scientific um, game and creation. So, uh, hey, look, it's going to be a beautiful thing. I'm really excited about the future. And, um... Y'all just stay tuned, you know, uh, the next few weeks to like months the most, you will be seeing uh, videos of me going with these A1 famous studs to these girls. And, um, you know, I'm definitely going to be vlogging that if they're okay with it. Um, so definitely stay tuned. Um, and the next couple months, definitely stay tuned because you're going to be seeing these letters um, going uh, with this beautiful chemistry that I'm putting together. So y'all stay up. You know, and hold it down. Peace.